Hi everyone, this is Pino Trogo from San Francisco State University. This is the data visualization class. And today we're gonna do a little bit um, of a hack uh, in order to get a data set from the Centers for Disease Control website because their website um, was not working in terms of getting a downloaded data set. And when the, when, when the data set was downloaded, it just didn't include all the stuff that was actually showing on the uh, web page. So instead, we're just going to do a simple uh, cut and paste. And, uh, and the purpose of this data set is for a little exercise where we're going to clean up the data set about um, breast cancer um, uh, rates in the United States. So let's see. So this is the main. Um, web page of the CDC and uh, we went straight to the um, what they call the uh, I think they call it a data visualization tool and we're going to pick United States because we want all the states we're going to um, pick rate of cancer deaths we're going to pick female we're going to pick female breast here and then for the year 2018 and we're going to pick white first and then eventually we would do the same for black but we're not going to do it now we're just going to we're just going to do white um, okay then the default actually for these picks would be the map okay so instead what we want to do is we want to uh, download the data set the spreadsheet which is this little button here called table so when when we click on it um, it has all the states, uh, they're all there, they're not displaying, we can pick a different uh, number of rows here. And, um, and what happened <laughs> since about a year ago, this was working, but somehow this button here, where it says download on the right, uh, when we do download it, uh, let's see, let's take a look, um, it doesn't match. So this is a real pain. So I'm just repeating this for those that perhaps are not in class. Um, and you can see that instead of getting the first column, which is called area, um, which is really the states, uh, there is a, there's nothing there. And then it goes straight to cancer type. Um, and then instead, it has age and it, there's also a blank there, which is this, between these two commas. So I open my this file, which is a comma separated file, um, CSV, and I open it in uh, BB edit, which is my text editor. Okay, so whatever your text editor is, um, make sure to use one. Okay, because we're just going to look at it really um, the raw 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 type okay no no excel yet so this doesn't work and because there is no states so it will be a real pain to try to figure out what is what um, so what we can do instead is um, we're going to select a hundred rows around the entries and at that point they'll all be there um, and this doesn't always work, but you can sometimes try to do a cut and paste of the display, the table displayed in the, in the uh, HTML page, I mean, in the web page. So since this is all HTML, let's see if it works. Um, sometimes you can try copying this and pasting it straight into perhaps Excel. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes things go straight into their own little cells and sometimes it doesn't. So in this case, we're not even gonna try that. Instead, we're just going to um, select everything. I usually select a little bit above what I need to select just to make sure I grab um, the first cells. In this case, the header cells, which is the, um, yeah, the columns, the name of the columns. Okay, and let me see if I hold shift. Yeah, so I'm gonna hold shift scroll down you could also just you know go like that and keep going down but that takes a little longer so what we're going to do instead is um let's see yeah select a little bit and then hold shift 
and go all the way down and select everything. Now I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open now my uh, text editor again, which is uh, BB Edit. So let's see, I'm going to say new and I'm going to paste it and doesn't look like too much fun, but I'll figure it out in a moment. Um, so I'm going to enlarge here just to see what, what's there, okay? Now, the first thing we could do, because this is actually pretty obvious, is we could get rid of the first four lines because we kind of know, looking at the website, that, um, that area is really the first thing that we need and then cancer type, et cetera. So going back to the text editor, this is pretty safe that if I delete it, nothing bad will happen, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And now in order to understand what's happening here, although it looks pretty good in that everything seems, well, first of all, it looks pretty good because we do have the states now. So that's, that's a good step. Um, and then it looks kind of in a grid, although it's a funny grid. So let's, what we want to do is in your text editor, try to see if you can visualize the um, invisible characters. So these will be the spaces, the tabs, the hard returns, and perhaps other junk that we might not know that it exists. Okay, so I will go to text under BB edit, um, actually under view, text display, and then show invisible, okay? And I'm gonna now really zoom in to show what this stuff is. So what this is, is actually the invisible character for a tab. So in this file, by doing this cut and paste, instead of having a comma separating each item, it has a tab. Now, I don't like that because, well, I'm used to comma separated files. So what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna get rid of all these um, of all these tabs. And instead we're going to insert a comma um, in their places, okay? But before we do that, we have to take care of something else. And that is um, the commas in the uh, data for the population column, which is, uh, which is on the very right. Let's see if we can see it. Okay, so right now this wouldn't be so good if we uh, if we want commas eventually these commas actually are in the way, um, and uh, so what we'll do is we'll do a cut, a cut we'll do a find and replace of all these commas inside these numbers, which again just to make sure we we're on the same page it's these numbers right here on the right column okay it's the thousand separator. Uh, so to do that, what I'll do is I'll simply copy the comma. Okay, I'll highlight it. Then I copy it. And then I go to find, command find on my text editor. And it's set up that it immediately shows um, the replace as well. So what I'll do is now I'll paste, I'll paste this um, comma into the find. Okay. And then I will replace it with, um, oh, I take it back. I'm doing it wrong. What I want to do, yeah, no, never mind. Now I'm getting rid of commas. Later, I want to put commas in. That's why I'm getting confused. So this is correct. We we find all the commas and we replace them with nothing. Okay. So let's do replace all. Okay. Now here, if I wanted to do this operation in just a little bit of text, I would do selected text only. I don't have select, so it would do just just that one. So instead, we're going to leave it alone and do replace all. Okay. So find the commas and replace them all with nothing. So I click replace all. And now the commas are all gone from my numbers from the uh, from this column right here from the population. Okay. Uh, here, by the way, you can uh, sort, but I don't think it matters because eventually we're going to sort ourselves in um, in Excel. So that's the first step. And now we want to um, go back and actually get rid of all those little triangles, all the little, um, 
all the little uh, tabs, okay? I just happen to know these are tabs because I've seen them in the past, um, but I don't know, maybe in your text, uh, they might, the character might look different, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna check the header to make sure it's kind of not funny. And by what I mean by that is sometimes, if you recall in the, um, in the other file that we downloaded the other day on um, on the longitudinal data for the for the breast cancer, um, they had put a less than symbol for ages fifty and less and and, and younger, and then just a plus sign for uh, fifty and older. And it was very weird because they could have just used a fifty minus, and that bracket really could could have screwed up things. So because um, because I know that age adjusted, by the way, means that there is a formula there where they figure out that they, it adjusts for you know different age groups. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that in a different time. But um, so since I know age adjusted rate is the death rate. So what I'm gonna do actually now, I'm just gonna call it death rate, okay? And this is um, number per uh, 100,000 female population, okay? Um, and then this, the case count is actually um, how many deaths actually occurred. Um, now this is, uh, I guess per state, yeah, I think that would be per state. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, let's not worry about that now. So let's just change these. And I know in the other video, these names are slightly different, but let's just say count the rate, uh, population, we live alone, race, we live alone, sex, we live alone, year, we live alone, and area, actually, I'm going to change that to state because that's really what it is, okay? Um, all right. So now let's get to the business of getting rid of all the all the tabs and putting a comma instead. Uh, so I do a copy, I select it, I do a copy, then I do a find, command F, I paste it. And sometimes here, it won't actually show up what it is, like it will be kind of blank. Um, in this case, it is showing, which is nice. Um, that's just the code for tab. So I'm going to replace it with a comma, okay? And I'm gonna say replace all, and that's it. Um, so now I have a file that, again, it's a little hard to know if it's correct, but I kind of trust that it is, and we'll see. Earlier, I'd seen that there were some funny spaces um, in other places, but I don't see them anymore. And spaces are these little dots, okay? Those are the spaces. I mean, that's pretty much the same in every file. Uh, mind you, I'm not a programmer, so I probably am saying some things that are not entirely like perfectly correct co um, programming speak, and some are like very obvious and probably not the moment. So just uh, bear with me, okay? All right, so now that we have this file, which looks, um, I find it pretty actually. <laughs> I like it because it's, uh, monospaced font, every letter occupies exactly one little, one little block, um, you know, everything is aligned. So I'm going to save it now and I can remember just one last check. Oh yeah, what we also wanna look at is make sure that these are nice and clean. These are the, um, right here on the right is the carriage return, okay? That means every line ends and there's another one. Um, so uh, I'm just now going to save it. Um, so this is white. And um, like I said, I'm not going to repeat now for black. No, actually I do. I have to, I might as well do it. Um, I could do it offline, but I might as well do it because um, the black file has the rows that are, um, that have some so-called suppressed data, so they're missing data. So now, um, I'll, first I'll save this. I'll do a save. 
and I'm going to call it, um, let's see, this is 2018. So this is, uh, I'm going to call it, I'm, I'm going to make the name short because in R, if they're, they're you, it's nicer if they're shorter. Uh, Breck and I'm going to try to remember what's in I learned, but I can't remember exactly. So um, actually, I can look at it. Why don't we do that? Because um, because that way you can kind of catch up with then the uh, the uh, assignment itself. Okay. So the this the first file was going to be this one from the other website, right? Um, that was going to be this one, which is the years from 1975 to 2017. Uh, these files, in the assignment, I'm asking uh, to download 2017, but in fact, you can't because it's only either 2018 or I believe 2010, 15, something like that. So even though here it says 2015, uh, why don't we say 18? So I'm going to copy that actually and name my file that. Um, oh, another thing you should notice, I don't know if you can see it, is that because, um, because we did a cut and paste, it automatically made it text because it didn't know what exactly it was. So now what we're going to do is actually we're going to change it to CSV. Although in our it would actually recognize it um, and it wouldn't matter, but so let's do that. Yeah, so let's change the extension from text to CSV. And um, right, actually we can keep these file names long because we, we need to combine them. And that's the part that actually I'm gonna leave for you guys to do, otherwise I'm doing all the work. <laughs> um, so yeah, 2018, okay. And I created a little folder on my desktop so that I have it all in one place. And for now, I'm not gonna create subfolder. I'm just gonna dump everything in there. Um, here you have preferences for the type of line breaks. Uh, if it's Mac, it will probably tell you Unix, which is good. Um, and UTF is good for the Unicode symbols. Um, coding so just say save and actually now we do have to check right away if in fact this will um, be correct in excel right it will give us a better picture so i'm going to open excel and i'm going to open that file which i just put into this folder and ta -da, i think we're good so it looks pretty nice um, now, here's the thing. I worked with my text file and I saw it and it was like clean, there was no junk. Now I open it in Excel and I can trust that this is clean. If you do the opposite, you never know. Meaning, well, what you could do is go back and forth to see that it is in fact clean because Excel might have a formula, you know, hidden in the, in the uh, now there isn't, but, um, because again, we download it as text, but sometimes if there's a formula when you save it as text, who knows if it's gonna be correct, right? So make sure you, you check. So this is great. This looks really nice. Um, the only thing I'm gonna do real quick is actually, well, this we're gonna get rid of because we know it's breast cancer. Otherwise, what I would have done is I would have put, maybe the, remove the uh, space because again, in R, if there is a space, it will put a dot. Um, so no, I just did that. Okay, so now I'm not gonna worry about this. You can see it's got 52 rows, which is good because it has a uh, district of Columbia, which is Washington DC, which we're gonna get rid of because it's always an outlier and it has state. So 50 plus these two, these two makes 50, so that's good. All right, this is very important to keep everything uh, you know, nice and square and straight, okay? Um, so I'm gonna save this now. Um, in fact, I could do nothing and just leave it alone. But if I say save, it's gonna warn me that, oh, maybe maybe if 
saving it as CSV is going to mess it up, but I know it's okay. So either, either way, to save it or save as, uh, let's see. Yeah, actually, it, it didn't ask me. I just saved it. So I'm going to now, uh, yeah, I saved it. So I'm going to like that. So, all right, now I'm going to uh, very quickly just, just do the same thing for black. Okay, so now if you want to grab a cup of coffee, <laughs> maybe it's the time. Um, but I'm going to do it also because you just never know. Things change all the time. Who knows? Maybe now the download thing will work, you know, just as we speak. But um, they didn't answer my email so at the CDC, so <laughs> probably still won't work. Um, by the way, it doesn't work for any of the cancers. Any, any, anything on that page has the same problem. Okay, so I'll go back to that. And now it's still correct. Let's see. Yeah, it's still correct. So the only thing we need to change, United States, um, United States rate of cancer deaths. By the way, here you can also download new cancers, which will be, um, or well, rate of new cancers, which would be the incidence, okay? So how many new cases? Um, and, um, but we won't worry about that now. So cancer deaths, female, female breast, 2018, and now we're just gonna pick white. Um, and we're doing all this work because unfortunately there, isn't, there wasn't a button that said black and white together, right? Um, although later in R, we can also see how so now we have to put these two together, right? To have one, but actually we could leave them separate. And in R, you could call one set of information from one file and another set from another file. And that's pretty cool. And that's something, well, Tableau, I think does it, but, um, but Excel, I don't think does. Anyway, um, now you'll notice the map looks funny because if there is no data for the states, because apparently there were fewer than 16 cases reported in all these states. And that's where they will say, you know, data suppressed. So if we click on the, on the, uh, on the spreadsheet now, yeah, it, it actually starts out with all those, all those files. So, which kind of tells us that um, it's sorted by, um, by um, those columns. Well, actually, we don't know. Let's see. Um, right away, let's just say show 100. And let's see, but what is it sorted by? Uh, not by these things. This doesn't look like it's sorted. So it doesn't, it's not sorted by anything. Whatever. Okay, we can fix that later. Um, oh, well. Actually, no, I take it back. It is sorted by data suppressed, but then these are not alphabetic. So who knows? It doesn't really matter. And it doesn't matter really how it downloads as long as we get everything. So now, just for kicks, let's try it again <laughs> um, to download the... Now, if you downloaded, if it was working actually, notice that the name is always the same. United States Cancer... I don't know, society, maybe overview map. So make sure if that were to work that you would actually change the name right away. Anyway, we have the same problem. We don't need to, to dwell on this because we're missing the states right on the back here. So let's go back and let's get rid of that. Um, yeah. So instead, we are just going to do the same thing. We're going to copy and I was going to say we could talk about coffee while I do this, but actually you can. But if I do, I'm going to get confused. So I'm going to copy everything again. Uh, I don't want this to be wrong because this is, this is the stuff that we're going to use. So I'm going to copy, open my text editor. Um, say new, paste, and um, so I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. Again, I'm going to do view, text display, show invisibles. Um, looks the same. So 
I want to get rid of the commas, remember, first. So I'm going to copy that comma from those numbers, which are the population numbers. Copy, find, and in my text, it will say find and replace right away. And in this case, I have to be careful because now I want to paste the comma there and I want to put nothing at the bottom. And I'm just going to say replace all. Now all the commas are gone. And now let's just let's just zoom out because you never know when you're zoomed in what might be happening, you know, outside the window, right? So, oh, as I as we say in Italia, come voleva si dimostrare. Nora will know what that means. Uh, just as I said, there it is, junk like that that we actually needed to get rid of. Um, there we go. It's a good idea. I mean, we could have deleted maybe later, but you never know. So now we're gonna we're gonna copy again one of these little tabs. Copy. I'm gonna do a find. Paste it into the find window. Replace it with a comma, right? Because we want comma separated files. And then we say replace. All. That's good. So, and just so once in a while, what I do is like I do a little spot check. So, for example, here I'm like, oh, okay, I wonder if this is still like the way it's supposed to be. So, what you could do in, is like, oh, let's say data suppressed for all these states. Let's say if that's true, you know, let's say Alaska data suppressed. Okay, so let's go back to the um web page and say let's see if alaska that's true there you go it's true okay i mean you could do another one but i think it's enough um you know you could see at the last one which is down here which is line 19 which by the way this is very useful the lines in the for the code right um this is, this is basically a code you know it's a, a code writing also program um well if you're a programmer you can use anything right uh, but it's good to remember. So this is row 19, New Hampshire. And here the, you don't have row numbers, but let's just see. Yeah, New Hampshire is the last one right here, right? So that's good. Okay, so now we're going to save this file again. And we didn't change anything at the top. Um, actually, if I remember right, I can do it right here. Uh, take the space out there and also take this. Um, oh, that's right. We call this death rate. And notice I'm leaving the lowercase. This type of stuff is called camel case, actually, where it goes up and down with the with a cap to signify that there's a second word there if it's all if there are no spaces. Um, in general, though, you would probably want lowercase even at the beginning of every single word, but let's not worry about that now. Oh, another thing we can do, actually, this is, this is good. We can put black here because we don't want to confuse the black population and the uh, white population. And that's a question I put in into the CDC people because I don't know exactly what that population is. I think we need to ask a statistician. I think it's actually the number of, I don't know if it's the actual black population and white population in each state or whether it's some kind of rate calculation, some kind of sample, uh, but they're definitely different than the two data sets. Okay, that's why now I'm adding black. And, um, and let's see if it works and now, Okay, so now we'll do a save. And now because I already have this one saved, I'm just gonna click on it, but then make sure you change the white to black. Okay, very important, um, save. Okay, I'm gonna close them now for a moment and I'm going to reopen them. And what I just thought about is that um, we should immediately rename those columns, uh, white, 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 black, 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 because when we put them together, they'll be uh, 
you know, we could get confused, right? So let's see, I'm going to open, okay, I want to open the last one in Excel because just to check, right? So the, the black one. And it looks pretty good, yes? So now, because it's a little easier in Excel to see stuff, what I'll do is I will, um, I will immediately, Okay, state, this one we call state. And then, um, um, well, okay. Let's just get rid of the word death. I mean, it is death, but let's just actually call this um, black, black rate, okay? We just have to remember it means death. And this account, let's just call it black count, okay? then black population. And maybe here we just abbreviate it and we say black pop like that. So race, sex, year, cancer type, this doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna open, actually let's just take a quick look overall again so that we don't get anything. Oh, this is weird, it's not, okay. Um, I just wanna make sure we're not, we're not, um, Okay, yes, we have to see. There's, it's always good to zoom out. You know, we're always like so focused into our computer, um, but it's good to move out because I was forgetting that District of Columbia we want to get rid of. Um, so, all right. Just open this up a little bit. Um, after I combine these files, um, I, I could stop because the other video shows how to um, combine them, but I might I might just do it again. I think this video might be a little clearer. Um, so anyway, state, cancer type, year, sex, race, black rate, black count, black population. Okay, save. Um, so now I'm gonna do, uh, yeah, this is black. I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna, not look at it, and now I'm gonna open the other one, the white. Open, and I'm gonna change those names, right? So again, I'm gonna call this, uh, now, that's the thing. Now, this is the white one, yes? Okay, <laughs> we better, uh, well, the proof will be in the, uh, if we mess up, will be in the final, um, charts that we make because we can compare them to 2017. They will have changed a little bit, but not much, right? Um, so, all right. So this is, um, now I shouldn't get confused, white. Um, and this is white pop. Um, but because I'm paranoid, I will actually do another um, another spot check. So what I'll do is I'll say, okay, I'm gonna look at District of Columbia and the rate there is 15.1. And I'm gonna go to the website again. Uh, and that was white. So I have to change it to white. And District of Columbia right here. Is 15.1. Now the chances that it will be the same for black would be very small. So, um, but you never know. So let me check black. Um, where is District of Columbia right here? It's actually 36. So that's crazy. It's three times. Um, so that tells us that this is the right file and it's okay to label it all white. Okay. So I'm going to save this. And I'm gonna, uh, oh, another thing that can happen in the name of the states is sometimes some states that have like uh, two names, they'll be abbreviated and they might have a dot or a dash. If you see those, get rid of them because they're a pain. So just spell everything out, okay? Um, shouldn't matter because it's text as opposed to a number, but Okay, so save, I'm gonna, 
unshow that. And now I'll do this. What I'll do now is I will um, actually create copies. I'm also kind of anal about this. I keep copies of everything and I keep making copies. After a while, I can't understand anything anymore, but it's, it's a good way so that we don't lose anything. Um, so let's see, I need to find where that folder is. Right here. All right. So what I could do is make a new folder and call it um, master. Let's go, uh, no, master is bad, right? Um, I know why. Uh, let's call it uh, original, something, something to remember that I'm not gonna touch those just in case I mess up and, you know. Okay, so I call these original, put them in there. And now um, I'm gonna call it original one because I wanna do something else. Original one. And what I wanna do is I wanna keep this with the suppressed data. So I'm gonna call it sub data. I'm used to putting underscore instead of spaces, but you could put spaces. Um, then duplicate that. I just made a duplicate by, by doing command D. And I'm gonna call this um, no soup. <laughs> okay, no soup data, no supplemental data, which means that I will then save those files um, without all those states, okay? Without all those states that don't have, that, 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 that say suppressed data. Remember only in the white, on the black, it does say, but again, I don't wanna deal with them. So I'm getting rid of all the other ones too, okay? Of all the white as well, even though they have data. Um, so that's good. And, and this now requires a little bit of, um, kind of side-by-side -side comparison, which is a little bit sort of by hand. So just, this is important. Just keep, keep, keep um, you know, be careful when you do this to make sure that we get rid of the same states in the two files and not something else. So I'll open them both. Oh, I want to open them in Excel. Um, if you want to, change how a file automatically opens in a particular program, you go, you highlight it, you say info command I, and here down below, you can choose what application is gonna like, uh, always open that particular file by default, okay? So in my case, it's actually my text editor. Um, and if I don't wanna open it with the default, I, I have to say right click, oops. I don't need that. Right click and then open with, with Excel, which is actually what I want to do now, right? So I don't know if I can do two at the same time. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna open them with Excel. And um yeah, I do it in Excel because it's a little easier to see, right? In in uh in the text editor it would be a little harder. Um, although every time I go into Excel, I'm like, oh no, Excel. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, sort by state. Okay. So click on that column under data sort. Now this is very important. Make sure you, you keep this expanded selection, because if you don't, it will sort that column. Everything else will stay still and everything will be scrambled. Okay. So expand the selection. Yes. It's a weird thing because when you say yes, when you say sort, um, oh, actually it does expand the selection. Never mind, I didn't, I didn't remember that. Okay, now we pick, um, we pick what we want to sort by, and we say state. Okay, and we say A to Z, so it's alphabetical, and we say okay. And that's good. 
And the first thing I'm gonna do, what happened to District of Columbia? Yeah. So I'm just gonna delete District of Columbia, okay? So you can do right click, delete there. So now we have 51 rows, that's good because we have the first row is an other row and then we have 50 states um, for now, okay? This is uh, white, so this doesn't look like this, which has, Okay, here's a little different because if I sort by states, all these guys are gonna be at different spots, which means I have to go in one by one. So what I'm gonna do now is I will actually delete these right away because it looks like it's already sorted. Well, you can actually see it, right? It's already sorted by that um, somehow. And I'm just gonna select them all. Okay. Oops. I can select them all. Oh, yeah, I can just hold shift. Um, and just double check that I didn't miss anything. And let's see if I can do right click. Yes, and delete. Shift cells up. Um, right, this is not good. The first thing I need to do is figure out what these states are. So, okay, I have to backtrack, don't do this. Because <laughs> um, I wouldn't know which ones they are in the white. So in fact, yes, let's sort this again by state. I might cut this out in the, um, in the video, but maybe not just to show you that it's easy to make a mistake. Um, so let's uh, rewind the tape. And, uh, and sort these also by state, okay? Especially because also we wanna get rid of District of Columbia. So select, uh, well, actually you don't, have, you don't need to select it, I don't think, let's see. If you say sort, sort data, no, you do. Okay, let's sort state data, sort, sort the states, expand the selection, sort um, by state. Okay, and that's good. So I might have to do these rows, yeah, by hand. Um, I can't remember now what I did in the other video, <laughs> exactly. Um, but let's figure it out. Let's, um, yeah, let's put them side by side. Yeah, I really want to keep the, uh, I want to keep the order, right? So, um, oh, I know what I need to do. Yeah, I need to leave this alone. The best thing to, to do this part is actually to, um, to do it when we combine them, okay? Um, because then, uh, yeah, then we'll have everything and then we can sort then by data suppressed and it will be, it will be easier. So what I'm gonna do now, yes, I'm actually going to, um, yeah, now that it's sorted, now what I, okay, let's just save it. Save it. Um, again, this is saved. Now what we want is we want to create a master file, right? And that in our in our assignment, um, which is here, that was going to be at the end after we do all these operations. It was going to be this. It was going to be my name, Brecon uh, WB meant oh yeah, white and black, um, and then 2017 in our case 2018. So why don't I just actually copy this? copy and then um, with my files here um, which now still has it um, and says still has it but it says no 
supplement, no suppressed data, but in fact there is there. So what I'll do is I will um, I'll just duplicate one of this. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put, um, create a new folder um, and I'll just say separate. separate okay i'll put those two that are still separate inside there and then this will be my uh my my new uh combined file okay so i'll change that name to be what i just pasted what we cop what i copied from the assignment and i'll change this to 18 okay trogo p Raycon. and i think we can just actually call it just the last name because Everybody has a different last name, I think. Um, okay, so now I open that and I know this is, oh, okay, all this goes there. So let me try with Excel again, open with Excel. Um, all right, now it's nice and sorted. I think I forgot to delete. Um, to delete District of Columbia from the black. It's gone here. Um, so this is now gonna be my main file, okay? So I'm going to open the black file inside the separate one. And because it is now all sorted, yeah, District of Columbia is still there. So make sure we get rid of that. Let's delete that. And then after we do all these cut and paste, again, we're going to do another spot check on the on the web page to make sure we didn't really mess up anything. Okay. Um, so it's sorted by state, right? I've got 51 rows, that's good. And now what I'm gonna do, this is the part, um, yeah, this is the part where we look to see if they're like matching side by side, okay? So, and by that, I mean, just put the two files next to each other and, and compare them, okay? Like this, like literally, like if you had two pieces of paper, you know, putting them on top of each other. Um, just to see if they match. And right now they do. And if I go up on top, and I go up on top, I like this about the Mac that you can do this kind of fancy scrolling, even though the window is not open. Okay, so this looks good. Looks all very correct. And you can, you can also check the lines. So right now, if you look at the line numbers, they're all the same. And this video, unfortunately, is also gonna be long, but it's it's really important to do this part well because you know your your data visualizations are gonna be great if the data is clean, right? Um, and you might be lucky and you get a data set without having to do any of this work, but you don't know, okay? So now that I'm you know confident that this won't change. Um, I got the black file. And what I wanna do is I wanna copy just the columns that I need from this file onto the other um, main file, okay? And those are really the black rate, the black count and the black population, right? Because everything else. So why don't we select that? Um, and so it's three columns by uh, 51 rows. I'm going to say copy. And in my original file, and I can even close this. I don't want to see it again. So I don't get confused. Um, let's see. I do want to save it because I got rid of District of Columbia. Um, so save. There is a large amount. No, okay. I don't want to keep with that. So now I will um, insert here. Um, I want to put it before the black. So what I'll do is I want to insert um, 
Oh, if I insert, it might paste it. I'm not sure. Let's say insert. No, okay, good. Just, just making three new columns, okay? Insert, insert, insert. And then now I'm gonna select three spots. And if there's a mistake, it will tell you, right? It will tell, oh, you're not pasting the same number of cells. So now I'm gonna do cut, paste rather, command V and it doesn't work. Why? Maybe because I didn't copy it. No, nope. okay, I have to go back to the other one. Sorry, something didn't work. Um, I need it black. I need it, oh, okay. It's all scrambled, meaning it's all uh, not sorted. So let's, let's sort that. Sort, yes, sort by state, okay. District of Columbia is already there. Weird, I thought I'd saved it. Okay, now let me make sure, let me make sure I really got the, it's here under separate. to remember, <laughs> open with Excel. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, Columbia, District of Columbia is gone, DC is gone, so this is right. You can see, I don't know, maybe the other file would have been okay, but um, it's again, if something seems funny, it's good to kind of step back and say, why does it look funny? Um, so, okay, I still need to copy this. I don't know why I couldn't earlier. So, copy. Now I go to the other file, it's still highlighted. These dates are right. I'm going to triple check. Uh, triple check and make sure that, that they're still aligned. I'm going to paste, and this time it worked. Great, so um, good. So now I'm going to save this. And uh, and when I I will I will actually send you these files, um, but I'll send you the separate files. I want you to do at least a little bit of uh juggling here to get to get to the final spot to to get to the final combined spot okay so that's good so now we have cancer type year sex race black rate black count black population white 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 population okay um all right so what we can do now is uh, well the first thing we need to do is get rid of those rows right so now we just simply um select any of these that says data suppressed and we sort that data, expand the selection. Um, well, again, because I'm a little anal, you know, what I'll do instead is I'll say save. I will, I will um, which one of these, this was black. Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll save that too. Um, What I do if I want to save an older file that has like a different step, I'll just say maybe extra or old. So I'll call this extra. And what I'll do is I'll put this file, which is now my current file there. But before I do it, um, I duplicate it. Actually, that's another way. You can duplicate it. And then I put that in the X. It's a little bit of a backup, okay? Um, just in case something happens. Just to remember. Okay, uh, Microsoft Excel, here we go. So now we are going to 
grab one of these that has data suppressed. We're going to say data sort, expand the selection sort. Um, we can say from A to Z, and let's see what happens. And uh, it was black rate, right? I thought. Can remember. Yeah, the first column. I mean, this first column right there, black rate. Okay, smallest to largest. Uh, hmm. Yeah. It knows it has numbers, so let's see what happens. Okay, we put them all at the bottom. Okay, so now we just get rid of those. And what's nice now, you'll see, well, it's not so nice for the white, for the ones that have the white data, but um, they're all in the right spot, hopefully. So we're just gonna get rid of all these. So select them all, um, right? Hold shift and then do a right click and say delete. Double check before, just yeah, make sure it's all okay. Delete, that's it. So now, now I'm worried because, because there are 33 rows and I thought there were gonna be 34, but you know, that, that may be, I think in the video, um, in the video, I might have left District of Columbia in. So now I'm a little upset because actually later on, um, yeah, well, it's a good thing I saved the other one because later on, um, I showed a way to kind of exclude District of Columbia. I think for this assignment, it's good. Anyway, I'll, I'll double check, but... Um, Yeah, that's probably what happened. Um, okay, I'm also gonna get rid of these columns. And because, well, because we don't need them anymore, right? We don't need the sex, the race, um, or the cancer type. So delete. Yeah, I think I think in the video in the other video I did it more complicated. I like duplicated even the states column, but um, okay. So now just because to keep things, <laughs> everything is lowercase except when there's two words and the second word is uppercase, the first letter, and there's no spaces. Okay. Um, right. So now let's go back and resort by states. Sort, expand selection, um, state. Okay, here we go. So yeah, all right. So I'm gonna enlarge it and I'm gonna do a couple of uh, quick uh, spot checks. And then if it's, um, if it's good, that will be done, okay? So, doo -doo -doo -doo, okay. Yeah, let's try that. Um, by the way, I think I believe, no, no. I was gonna say you could change the decimals, but to get more data, but we don't because that was text. So there is no ex extra finer, you know, decimals. All right, so let's go quickly back to the, to here and let's check, let's start first with white, um, white um, should be dynamic. So this should automatically, but just to make sure it could do a couple of clicks. Um, so female breast white. Okay, so let's just check for example, main is 15.9 and 173 the uh, the rate and the count, and then six six five four nine five six for the population. So nineteen point nine, no fifteen point nine main. Um, let's go to main. Oh, yeah, that wasn't good because main I think is one of the states we get rid of. So we better we better check black because. Um, there were a few states for black, so let's do black. So main is 
Right, data suppressed. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try 50 rows. Let's pick Connecticut 24.658. Connecticut 24.658. That's very nice. The black population is 239.634. Now let's check the white real quick. Um, and where are we? Connecticut, it's 15.8. Fifteen point eight, three sixty five, one forty eight, etc. That's good. And now, just to check another one, just because we never know. Let's check Florida, which happens to be nice and nice and close. Um, Seventeen point five, twenty four seventy one. Florida, seventeen point five, twenty four seventy one, eight four nine. Yeah. Okay. Great. Good, we did it, I did it. Um, you have to do it too. <laughs> so, uh, and then after I, I finish the video, I will actually test this to see if I can get the right visualizations. Um, so, um, okay. All right, so let's save this. And uh, save, uh, quit that one and then now I'm just really just one last check. Oh, what I do always to make sure that I'm looking at the latest thing, I uh, look at the date, okay? So here, open it up and see, okay, uh, it's kind of sad how late it is, 11.58. <laughs> um, I wish it was a.m., but it's p.m. Anyway, yeah, just to make sure, check the clock. Okay, yeah, it's the right time. So that's my last file. So what I do is I even put maybe like a little label. Sometimes when I, I even put two, <laughs> um, but if nothing else, one is good. And then now I'm gonna open it once, once, once more with this, uh, just to make sure um, that it looks good once more view text display show invisibles looks nice and clean you see there's no more invisibles anymore except for the um carriage return over here see that so that's nice that means there's no absolutely no junk not even like blank spaces and then the last row doesn't have one i don't think that matters okay so save again i think that's it so, um, yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video, I guess. Okay, bye-bye.